Hey, this is your girl, Miss T, a.k.a. Harlem Heron. Thank you for tuning in to Street Talk with Miss T. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love to hear your feedback, and I love talking back to y'all. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know when I post new videos. But again, thank y'all so much. I love talking to you guys. Street Talk with Miss T. As you can see, this is the staircase, and it goes down into the gym. Hello, 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 hello. How y'all doing today? So, thanks everybody for always reaching out. Thank you for supporting. I appreciate that. You have no idea. I appreciate all of you guys, all of you guys. Um. This video is about the 29th anniversary of something that happened so, it was such a tragedy. I didn't write about it in my book because I just had so much that I've been around and I've seen. And um, yeah, I never thought that I would witness anything like this, but I did. I was there. My cousin, my best friend, April, rest her soul, but she didn't die here. And I think my sister, I think Boo said she was there too. So December 29th or 28th, I believe it was December 28th, which is my sister's birthday, my younger sister, Boo. Puff Daddy and Heavy D was about to throw this huge celebrity basketball game at City College. So, you know, we all went, it was packed, we were excited. You know, the tickets wasn't expensive, which is cool. Um, so we all got dressed to go there. We, it was so packed. It was a staircase that went down at City College, the staircase went down. At the end of the stairs is where the City College doors opened up. Outward, instead of pushing inside, like to open inside to go to the gym, the doors had to be open from the inside out. Now, when you see the staircase, you'll understand. The stairs are going down and those doors would have to push out for people to go in. When I say hundreds of people pack that staircase to the point where for us to get in, everybody would have to go back up the stairs, you know, in order for the doors to come to open up. Let me tell you something. I've never been in anything like this. So hundreds of people are on the stairs. We are so close together. My feet are not touching the ground because I'm so sh shoulder to shoulder with people that they are literally, my right hand of God, literally holding me up. That's how packed it was. I don't think of course, Puff and Heavy D, because I think Puff and Heavy D gave it together. I don't think Puff and Heavy D, I mean, no one would have thought that that would have happened like that, that it would have been so much people where we couldn't get in. So go down the stairs, it's packed, everybody's squished. Finally, you know, people are getting in, they're going to the bleachers. And um, we just waiting. You know, they got to get everybody in. You know, everybody waiting for the show to start, the basketball game. Of course, it's going to be some entertainment and all that. There came a point where, okay, I got in. I'm waiting for April to come in. I think Shelly and my sister got in. 
People were crying in that crowd. They couldn't breathe. On those steps, people were getting crushed to death. This is something I will never, ever forget. Nine people died on that staircase. My cousin got in, my sister got in. April was one of the last people I saw come through those doors before I saw dead bodies being pulled in and white sheets being put over them. It was a college campus, so they had sheets. I never, yo, I never would have thought that I would saw something like that. You know what? I look at my life, and those of y'all who have read my book, saw my story, you know, my documentary on YouTube, I have so much to be thankful for. I've been in situations too many times not to get on my knees every day and thank God for my life. And just, you know, I mean, I'm thankful all the time. I'm, I'm driving in my car every day and I'm just like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank God for the small stuff. I have been in so many situations where my life was spared. And the City College tragedy was one of them. I don't know if any of y'all who watch me, who from New York, whatever, remember it or was even there. I was there. Facts. I was there. And I witnessed something so horrible. I don't think y'all can even imagine. Can you imagine being in a place that's so crowded with the people you in back of you on each side in front of you, you're literally, your feet are dangling because it's so packed. You're, 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 you're not standing. Like my feet wasn't even touching the step no more. Like they were literally holding me up. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And all of us were going through that. And then it's so packed. So the people that they were bought, that they brought in that died were crushed to death. Their chest was compressed by the person in front of them. And then they were being pushed by the person in the back of them because the doors, it was no way for the people in the gym to kind of say, listen, y'all have to back up, which they were doing, but no one at the bottom of those steps could not back up unless it began at the very top of the stairs. As you can see, you know, somebody should have been up there saying, move, come up, back up so they can open up the doors. But nobody was regulating upstairs. It was a madhouse because everybody wanted to get in. Of course, everybody wanted to have fun. We was ready to party and see whatever entertainment that Puff Daddy and Heavy D had prepared, you know. You know, sometimes we too worried about little things, you know, the smaller things in life mean so much. Like those young people died trying to see a basketball game. They wasn't doing nothing wrong. They weren't committing a crime. Um, I'm not one of those that believe in all was their time. It, I, I, I never say that. Because I'm not sure if I believe in that. Or was there time? I don't believe in that. And I don't think I've ever said that in my life when I heard that somebody passed away. This was an unfortunate event that could have been prevented had they had it better um, organized. And someone at the steps, maybe, because there was a line outside that came around, but someone should have been like 20 go in, 20 go in, then 20 go in instead of having all those people packed on a staircase where they lost their life, just trying to go see a basketball game or a show, you know? So back to what I was saying, you know, we concentrate on stuff that's very unnecessary, meaningless, and the small things in life just make, I mean, they are so much more important 
then a lot of the things that we put or that we give too much attention to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, listen, for me, waking up is a good day. Everything else is a bonus because I'll work towards whatever it is that I need to do, what I need to get. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Puff, the families of those nine people um, sued. Even me and those, some of the other people on them steps, we all could have probably been in that lawsuit. I wasn't thinking at the time because we suffered something as well because we witnessed that. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had PTSD, you know, since the nineties, I think it more came on when I got tied up and robbed and then got shot. But then I think of all the other things that I witnessed in my life, you know, people dying. Like I've seen people get shot right in front of me. When I say right in front of me, fell at my feet. At my feet. I'm going to tell that story because it involves a rapper's brother. Tell that another time. So, um, you know, I suffer with these things, but I keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? I don't let it control my life. You know, I have my little times where, you know, I get jumpy, I get nervous, anxiety is very high, but I don't use that as an excuse to take pills, get a check or nothing like that, you know, but yeah, I just wanted to do this because this is the um, 29th anniversary of that tragedy. But yes, like I was saying, I think Puff was trying to fight that lawsuit, but you had no wins because I think the families or, and, and of course the court said, there were ways that they could have prevented that situation. Um, Y'all had this situation, I mean, this um, event. You should have better organized it. Security should have been better. So those families got paid. Um, I don't think the amount was disclosed, which it really doesn't matter because <laughs> no amount in the world could bring none of those people back. But can you imagine you just going to see a basketball game and you get crushed to death? There's not a shootout or nothing like that, no fights. And then the crazy thing is this, as they were bringing the bodies in, putting the sheets over them, bringing the bodies in, putting the sheet over them, all of a sudden there was a pop and pure pandemonium happened. It was crazy. We thought it was a gunshot, but I honestly think a uh, glass broke or popped or whatever. And we it, it just went crazy. Everybody that had already made it into the gym ran out of the gym. We found our way out of another staircase and ran out because where that stairs was at, they were still pulling bodies in. We ran out. April ran home, I think, in like one shoe sock dirty as hell because we ran from what's that like 135th in convent and my block is right on the other side of the park but you have to go down a hill we be on convent then you got uh what's that saint nick because it's after Amsterdam. But yeah, I mean, ran all the way home in like one shoe, sock dirty as hell. It was just a, a, a really, really crazy, crazy, crazy night. But I say all this to say, sometimes, you know, we have to think, we definitely have to tell our kids, you know, these days, you really got to be mindful of what's going on. You know, because we like, oh, it's crowded. This thing about to be popping and not realizing that, no, our lives was slowly drifting away. Because when I say we were compressed from the back and the front, like we were literally dying on that staircase. And, you know, some of us made it through those doors. And I just think like, oh my God. And that was 1991. I had my daughter, what, four months before that. You know, I had got robbed, what, three months before that. 
You know what I'm saying? So this was 1991. And I just think about all the situations. And that's another thing. If you was a person somewhat like me, who's been out there, been in situations or been in the streets, we have something in common and we have something to definitely to be thankful for. Absolutely. You know, because when we think of the things that we've been in and sometimes I think about the situations that I know God got me out of. I probably don't even know what the situations are. I can probably hint to like, yeah, that probably was a bad spot or, you know, being at a certain place at a certain time. Something could have happened. But we have to really be thankful because. We are blessed. I'm not even going to say nothing about luck. We are blessed because I'm sure some of y'all like me been in situations that we probably should not have even made it out of. That situation, I think about it all the time because I think about how close I was because I was in that staircase, compressed. I couldn't even wiggle like this because I couldn't lean back and I couldn't really lean forward because it was so tight. And I just thank God I made it through those doors. When you see those photos of people on stretches, maybe you can imagine what I saw when I say that to see those bodies being dragged in one by one. And April, like I said, she was one of the last people I saw come through that door. I thank God. <laughs> I'm just so thankful, y'all. Y'all just don't have no idea. I mean, I don't know. I can't emphasize how much I thank my God and I love my God and that I am still here. You know what I'm saying? Like before that bullet, it was so many other things that went on that some would say, damn, how she made it. <laughs> How she making it? Real talk. You know, I, I'm just like, yo. So, you know, you got to think about that. And then we also got to teach our kids, listen, be very aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Be a, every, every, the city college thing was different because I was about to say, like, sometimes we don't really need to be everywhere all the time. You know what I'm saying? You just never know what could happen. So, you know, I, um, I'm very appreciative to uh, be here. I, um, I'm just thankful y'all. Y'all have no idea, man. I'm so thankful, you know, but I just wanted to, you know, talk about this anniversary of the city college tragedy. Um, y'all could Google it. It's definitely up there where you can read about what happened, but being there and witnessing what was going on is something totally different. It's something that I will never, ever forget in my life, my life. I don't know, but let me ask y'all this. Yo, I think P real talk, Puff has to have like a a, 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 a a black cloud over him. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's like that happened. I don't know. His artists, he has artists that never, Mace might be the only one. If Biggie was here, he definitely wouldn't have. He, I think he would have carried everybody and Bad Boy would have been all right as far as the artist. But you look at Craig Mack. I don't know if y'all saw him in his last days. Um, total. Um, I don't know. He don't have too many success stories with his artists. And, you know, it's unfortunate that his kid's mother passed away. It, it, you know, and you have to look at things like this. Oh, he reached the death. But what does that really mean when you have like bad things that have happened either you know, really all around you and also to you because I'm sure he was affected by some things, but I, I don't know. But yeah, Puff, I don't know. But um, yeah, so that's that story I needed to bring to y'all. But yeah, make sure, I mean, Google that and just read up on that story because that was something tragic and it's, it's just still something that I'd be like, wow, how could that happen? I mean, we were crushed that, Crush literally, well, people that some were crushed to death. We were slowly dying in that staircase. Thank God, we some of us, a lot of us made it out. 
And um, it's just crazy, you know? So you got to think about that, how lucky you are. And thank God. I know some of y'all have some stories and you can be like, well, you know what? I remember this situation. And yeah, Miss T. Wright, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that happen that we got to be thankful for. So, um, yeah, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. And, I, you know, I, I definitely appreciate y'all for um, following me and hollering at me. Oh, yeah, and then my Instagram page now is at Harlem Heron, one word. I was hacked twice in a week. They tried to extort me, but I ain't got nothing for them. But, yeah, thank y'all. I love y'all.